Hello there guys, welcome to the channel, where today we talk about a great duo, Obi-Wan and Cody. They were dynamic during the Clone Wars down to the very end. The end being of course where Cody tried to kill Obi-Wan, but we're gonna ignore that for the time being and talk about the Clone Wars, why Obi-Wan relied and appreciated Cody very, very much. Cody of course felt the same towards Obi-Wan, who was his Jedi General throughout the war, and you can clearly see that both in the cartoon series and in the Clone Wars animated series, they both became like brothers during the war, and as many other Jedi and clone commanders, they actually depended on each other. Even Revenge of the Sith wanted to portray the camaraderie between Cody and Obi-Wan. You know that the films didn't really have the time for Jedi-clone relationships, but they stopped to show these two. Just don't take too long. Come on, when have I ever let you down? <laughs> Very well. The burden is on me not to destroy all the droids until you arrive. Cody was just a loyal and no-nonsense commander which made him the best clone to work for General Kenobi. If you think about it, they were basically mirrors of each other. It's the same as Rex and Anakin. Most of the fans see these two pairs as mirrors of one another. Rex is as brash and adventurous as Anakin, but Cody is a very strategic and no-nonsense same as Obi-Wan. Naturally, Cody's battlefield exploits and good leadership skills had earned him the respect of of both the clones and the Jedi alike. It wasn't just Obi-Wan who respected Cody. A lot of Jedi knew of Commander Cody. We have mentioned this previously, but Voss hated the clone troopers and so did the clones since he was always vile towards them. But on an episode where Voss met with Obi-Wan and Cody, he seems to treat Cody very well, tells him that he is looking good. Oh, and also a big Lebowski reference. You could tell time half as well as you could stick a landing. We wouldn't be behind schedule now. Now would we? Well, that's your opinion, man. God, I, I love that. Anyway, what connected Cody and Obi-Wan mostly is their duty to the Republic. While Cody had developed a sense of respect for those who considered him as a friend, like most other clones and of course Obi-Wan, his unflinching loyalty to the Republic was the dominating trait of his character, something that of course Obi-Wan had as well. In fact, as Obi-Wan is about to fight Anakin, he tells him that his allegiance is to the Republic. Their love for democracy and freedom is what led both Cody and Obi-Wan to be fierce in the battlefield, never letting up and coming up with different strategies and schemes to defeat the Separatists. Now let's talk Obi-Wan specifically just for a bit. Here is a Jedi who loves the rules. He has lived by them his entire life. What's more, he has given up love just to serve the Jedi Order and the Republic. While all of these are great traits, a lot of Jedi around him, such as Voss and especially Anakin, who was the closest, tend to not follow these rules so often and in fact break them a lot. He was tired of this mess around him. Here comes a clone who is as rigid as he is about maintaining order and being focused, not fooling around. That is the building block of Cody. No foolishness and no crazy ideas. Just do as you're told. That was Kenobi's mantra and Cody followed it to the T. I think most of all this is what made them the amazing team team and that's why they work so good together, knowing their roles and executing orders to the best of their ability. Focused and determined. The exploits of Cody and the 212, who were mostly led by General Kenobi. That was a team that was known throughout the galaxy and feared by the Separatists. This is what gave Obi-Wan the appreciation that Cody deserved. Obi-Wan talked and Cody listened. Unlike his apprentice, which would go off on his own most of the time, Obi Obi-Wan knew that he could always count on Cody. Unfortunately, the time had come. Order 66 was executed and Cody with the rest of the clones executed the Jedi to close extinction. Obi-Wan of course went on to survive this ordeal, but Cody as a matter of fact, he went on to have a miserable life serving his newly formed empire. The good old days of the Republic were now gone. He was stationed on Kamino where he spent the rest of his days as a training officer who would guard 
guard the cloning facilities of Camino, never again experiencing the joy and adrenaline that he had years ago when he was on the front lines together with his best friend, General Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's a sad ending, I have to admit. It's so bad, you know, every time I see Cody and Obi-Wan together, in the back of my mind, I know that sooner or later Cody is gonna turn on him. It's so weird to see them have this brotherhood and this bond beforehand before Order 66. Guys, no bonus content today. This is too sad. But if you enjoyed, leave a like and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my friends, and may the force be with you. Always.